Eight minutes after the hour, we'll check on the Bowdoin Beach report for you. The Great Lakes, the Northeast, well, a little blustery here today, even though you'll find quite a bit of warm air and lots of uh, 80s will be widespread. Even as far north as Cincinnati and even around Chicago, we'll be approaching 80 degrees today. But those south winds will make it fairly blustery. Uh, winds of about 15 and 25 miles an hour, small craft to be advised, western Lake Superior. And even near the Long Island Sound here in the Jersey Shore, very choppy for you. The winds out of the west may exceed some 25 miles an hour for the coast. There you see the widespread sunshine. Water temperatures in the 40s and then warms up to middle 50s around Virginia's beach. But then we really warm up as you head south. Miami's beach, about 79 degree water temperature. We've had some showers now along uh, Florida's Gold Coast here, the south. Uh, so be wary if you're going out. But generally speaking, no big problems with the coastal winds for the Gulf. Out west, though, the onshore flow, very choppy, the waters along the coast of Oregon and California, and limited sunshine to the north. It may pose some travel problems out west. We'll have the details next. A very pleasant Sunday morning to you. It's about 21 minutes after the hour, and you're just in time for the five-day business planner. Well, we do have storms in the forecast today. If you live in the red zone, you need to keep an eye to the threatening skies. Of course, if they become threatening, you need to be prepared to take the necessary precaution. These thunderstorms can produce lightning, very gusty winds, and brief locally heavy rains. Uh, if any watches or warnings are warranted out of this area throughout the afternoon, you know, we'll be the first to get the information and we'll pass that right on to you firsthand. So if you live in the red zone, we hope you will tune into the Weather Channel periodically throughout the afternoon and evening hours. Here is the scenario. We have the surface cold front approaching from the west. Big dome of high pressure over the east and that's why it's going to be so warm and sunny today for much of the east and half the country. Actually, if we could cut the nation in half uh, like this, the east looks good. It's the west that we have all the inclement weather. Even to the north here, the steady rains. We'll even find some snow in the northern parts of North Dakota. We've had snow in the Sierra Nevada range, about a foot of snow in some of the higher terrain in Nevada. And I'll tell you what, there's more on the way as this trough of low pressure moves east into the Wasatch Front of Utah. And look at the bitter roots of Montana and Idaho. Overnight tonight, the snow, and then another system approaches the west coast. But this is the surface front that will set the stage today for thunderstorms and looks like even tomorrow the nation's midsection will be the target area for the thunderstorm activity. Afternoon highs today, widespread 80s with that dome of high pressure, but cooler temperatures over the Pacific Northwest, even the Southwest, highs only in the 60s around L.A. and up to San Francisco, Seattle only in the 50s today. We will start to bring some of the cooler air across the northern Rockies into the northern plains by mid week. That's because the whole storm system is moving off to the east. So then those widespread 80s will be trimmed away and we'll replace them with 70s. Slightly cooler air builds over the east by Friday. But notice how temperatures will rebound out west as a ridge of high pressure starts to rebuild behind the system. It'll be a slow mover though. Scattering showers and storms over the Mississippi Valley tomorrow and Tuesday and even Wednesday now will still with the threat of thunderstorms. The system starts to weaken as it heads for the East Coast Friday. That's good. We topped the ultimate test of a household cleaner with the works. Hey. Good morning, and thanks for joining us on the Weather Channel. You're just in time for the current weather scene across the country. We're waking up to fair skies, clear skies, lots of sunshine over the eastern half of the country. All of the wet weather we have out west, you see these bright white clouds developing over uh, west Texas and even the panhandles here all the way to Minnesota and Wisconsin. We've had some widely scattered thunder showers here, and showers have been widely scattered out across much of the west. We've even had snow, and it's been quite significant in the higher about 11 inches. We had in Austin, Nevada, right here. Good. We're talking about some nice conditions for the immediate eastern seaboard over the next several days. You can see this visible satellite picture over the northeast, which shows fair, sky, fair skies around Worcester, Massachusetts, even in New York City at LaGuardia's airport. We have sunny skies being reported and um, extended visibilities. You can see for about 20 to 25 miles or so at LaGuardia's airport. Central Park, not bad today if you're going out. And even back across Cincinnati. 
Cincinnati and Cleveland and Indianapolis and Evansville, Indiana, even Chicago looking good this hour, partly cloudy today with an afternoon high of about 79 degrees. Not bad in Chi-Town, looking good with a southwest wind. Might be kind of windy though over the windy city with those winds out of the west and southwest breezing over much of the Great Lakes and off the coast here. Small craft, be advised as those winds may make it a little choppy for you along the uh, coastal areas. Now a little farther south and we have high pressure down here too so the sunshine is quite extensive into Atlanta and way across Georgia. Even Macon looking good. But the stalled frontal boundary will continue to spark a few light rain showers and thunder showers. You can see for Florida's Gold Coast, we've had the showers mainly offshore now, but looks like uh, one cell just developing just to the west of Lake Okeechobee here. So just be wary. You'll probably need the umbrellas on and off throughout the day over the Sunshine State. Now, the nation's midsection, you see these lines, they are called isobars, or lines of equal pressure, and the winds are blowing parallel to these lines. So we have the southwest winds, and they've been fairly gusty in excess of 20 and 25 miles an hour. So if you're planning on going to the picnics out in your area, lakes in Kansas and Oklahoma and to Missouri, just be wary, it's going to be fairly windy. But these south winds are also bringing uh, humidity levels, they are increasing throughout the nation's midsection. Look at these dew points, 62 degree dew point around Des Moines, Iowa. So that shows us how much moisture is available. So with all that moisture available and warm air, that just sets the stage prime for strong and even severe storms today. If you live in the red, the orange zone, you need to keep an eye to the sky for the threat of thunderstorm activity. We've had, again, some isolated thunderstorms and a thunder shower so far this morning, even reports of lightning, but uh, no large hail has been reported with any of these thunderstorms so far, but perhaps later this afternoon we'll get some hail with the thunderstorms in the nation's midsection. So you need to be on the lookout for threatening weather if you live in the nation's midsection. The West Coast, we've had showers in Central California, even Southern California, around San Diego. We had some light rain earlier this morning, but the cold front has pushed through the southern parts of California and will continue to move off to the east. But there you see the showers with a trough over the central parts of the state. All temperatures right now in the 40s for much of central California, 50s in the southern parts. But look at this, 60s and 70s already for the eastern half. But again, before the day is done, we're talking about widespread 80s for afternoon highs today. There you see, big dome of high pressure, but it gets increasingly unsettled for the western half of the country as we work our way through tomorrow afternoon. I'll tell you what, let's look ahead for you. This look ahead is sponsored by Husqvarna. Vana, producers of superior forest and garden products. And we'll start off with your afternoon highs today. Again, very warm, widespread 80s, and that will be the case again tomorrow across much of the Mississippi Valley and the southeast. Here's the cooler air, though, with the system out west. And as that storm system pulls into the plains, it'll bring the cooler air with it, with 40s and 50s building over the plains. We're even trimming away those widespread 80s over the south, and that'll be the case. Friday as well. Scattered showers and storms over the Mississippi Valley as the surface front moves east and looks like it's going to take some time as Wednesday we're still under the gun with scattered showers and storms here. The system will start to weaken by Thursday and Friday as it heads for the eastern seaboard. So that's good. It will start to weaken by then, but you know we'll be watching this storm system day by day and its progress and we will keep you informed of any watches or warnings that might be warranted out of the area throughout the week, and we hope you'll tune in periodically. Stay with us. We have your weekend travel forecast coming up. So we're talking 10 minutes before the hour. Time now for the spring weather update. Let's start off with the temperatures of yesterday and how they deviated from the norm. And I tell you right now, we had some very warm air across the northern plains and the Great Lakes. Temperatures for afternoon highs were 10, 20, and 25 degrees above what they should normally be this time of year. It's going to be mild again today right across the plains with widespread 80s. Already temperatures in the 70s. And uh, we're talking about uh, 
60s, 69 degrees. It's almost 70 in Omaha, 73 in Wichita and Oklahoma City. Look at Dallas, 74 degrees. We'll extend those 80s all the way to the middle Atlantic coast for afternoon highs today, too. Atlanta, it's 60, 10, 80 degrees now before the day is done, even around New York City, believe it or not, where it's currently 66 degrees. Much cooler out west now, as in Seattle, we're forecasting middle 50s for an afternoon high today and middle and low 60s around the Los Angeles area. It's 50 degrees right now in Burbank, California, and 56 in San Diego. We did have a little bit of light rain earlier this morning around the San Diego area, huh? But uh, most of that is moving on out of the way, and we do not anticipate any more showers in Southern California. But maybe the central parts of the state will pick up more rain tomorrow as yet another system comes on shore. Okay, current temperatures out west, mainly in the 50s and 40s, so definitely the cooler air over the western half of the country, but it's starting to warm up quite nicely with widespread 60s and 70s right now over the east. Here's a scenario. We have the jet stream that's cutting across, and that's bringing some very, very strong winds in the upper levels of the atmosphere. That's creating a lot of shear in the atmosphere, which will allow the um, rapid rising of the air later today. So with that in mind, thunderstorms are possible now across the plains, so we're going to have to watch this area very closely as uh, if you live, say, from South Dakota down through the panhandles of Texas and Oklahoma, you are under the threat for storms this afternoon. High pressure here, it is the clockwise winds around this high pressure system that's bringing you the southerly flow, increasingly humid right in here, and also the warm air. And as a storm system pushes out of the west and meets up with that warm and moist air, boom, those thunderstorms will develop. Now, how long will they last throughout the evening and maybe tomorrow? Well, we have the forecast and Rick has all the answers. On the alert. And this is our Michelin Travel Trouble Spot across West Texas now through central Kansas and southern Missouri. We've had some light rain showers developing earlier this morning, and we do think this is a target area for redeveloping thunderstorms throughout the afternoon, and that's why we've selected this area for our rainy travel. So if you have travel plans on Interstate 20 across the Rio Grande, even Interstate 40 over the Panhandle of Texas, you need to prepare for some slick and slippery conditions. Rainy travel extending up to the Canadian border and wide spread showers out west. The best chance for strong and severe storms, though, right here in the plains. We'll be watching this area very closely for you throughout the afternoon. If you live in the red zone, you need to keep an eye to the threatening skies, as if you see the, thrice, the skies becoming threatening or gray, you definitely need to be prepared to take the necessary precautions. We do have a watch box in effect for southern Minnesota, uh, the western and southern parts of Wisconsin and northern Iowa now this morning, and Cheryl will have that for you graphically and uh, in a moment, so stay with us.